Hello! You read the title for right. I am moving to Canada. So one or two months ago, I got my working visa for Canada. Woo! And I did not expect it to process that quickly. I had already booked a two week holiday in August, aka this month, and one and a half weeks. I'm gonna go on that holiday and then come back and then fly out again for the official move. I've just started to pack so I thought I'd show you my packing process. And there's a lot of things because I can't fit my whole life into a few suitcases. So on the way there, I have one check luggage, one hand luggage, and then a carry-on, which is I'll probably bring a backpack. And then it's the same when I come back and fly out again. So I'm trying to pack everything in these couple of um, luggages. I will be living in Canada for two to three years uh, because I'm a UK citizen. So I have the option to apply for an additional third year when the time comes, um, depending on what the situation is like, I may apply for that and keep living for another year. So I will be experiencing all four seasons of Canada. Fall is the only season that I have not experienced yet, so fun. I need to pack for summer and winter specifically because it's going to get cold and I know it from when I went there for my exchange. Let me just give you a quick pan around of what is happening right now in my room. So this is my bed right now. I've pretty much just chucked everything onto my bed. It's mainly winter and summer clothes right now. So I've got my two jackets. This is my winter jacket and then this is just a more mid jacket. Like it is warm but it's like I don't know if it will be suitable for next of 20 degrees um, weather. And then, yeah, ranging from winter to also summer clothes because I'm also going there for holiday, which will be, I assume it will be quite warm during the day, but cool in the evening. So I still need, yeah, I need a mix of like summer and a few longer tops and bottoms. I also have over there in this bag, that's my winter boots because Pretty much all the stuff that I'm bringing over for my first trip will be clothes that I don't need to wear when I come back. This is some of the stuff. This doesn't even include any additional bits and bobs like electronics, other shoes I need to consider, accessories like jewellery, hats, scarves, gloves and also skincare. I don't know if you know but like I'm a really big skincare enthusiast. And um, there's literally like, I think there's like two videos up that are very skincare related. And I have a whole trolley and drawers filled with skincare. So I re really need to figure out what I'm doing with my skincare collection. Am I able to bring my whole skincare collection over? Probably not. So yeah, I need to come up with a plan for that. So that will be very, very tough, I think. Because already I need to be quite selective with my clothes. I think I will start packing and just seeing how much I can fit in my suitcase right here. I've got there's my big suitcase and then my hand carry. The first audio is I'm gonna put some of my socks, the socks I'm bringing, into my winter boots so that I can save space in my luggage. Good hat for you guys in case you're also looking for ways to maximize your space in your luggage. So I think I had 10 pairs, all 10 pairs of my socks fit in my winter boots. So that's good. Next thing, I have a very large vacuum storage bag which I'm going to put my two jackets in because they are pretty puffy. Actually, does this even fit my suitcase? <laughs> the bag is bigger than the suitcase, so... Um, I think I might just have to put it one on top of each other. Actually, would it be better if I just lay it flat in there? Because otherwise, if I fold it, it's going to... What is the best way to do this? Okay, so it looks like 
like compressing my puffer jacket and I'm pretty sure my winter jacket is like a dang jacket, it has like feathers and it may damage the jackets if I do put them in the vacuum sealed bags so I think I will get rid of the bags I may use it for normal clothes but for the jacket's sake, I don't want to ruin it I think I'll just put it in the suitcase at this Maybe I will just wear this jacket with me to the airport I'll leave this one out for now I have only two packing cubes so I'm going to try and fit most of my clothes into these anyway if I can For pyjamas, I have Shorts. Do I need shorts for all seasons? I think it's summer is obviously hot. Spring and fall, I guess they're like the warm when you're cool. And then winter, although it's very cold inside, you need to have heating in the house. So shorts would be fine to wear as well. So I'm just like kind of considering like do I really need three pairs of shorts? I should at least bring one pair of joggers, right? One pairs. Anyway, I will I also have three pajama tops that have shorts in it. Okay, I'm gonna pack these anyway, because I can three shorts. Three shorts and three pajama tops. I watched a few videos last night for the most effective way to pack rolling or folding and I feel like I should also want to do this like to fold to the size of your, of your packing cube so I think I'm gonna give that a try fold to the size of my packing cube so that I can maximize the, the width and the, the dimensions of the packing cube filming on my phone and it ran out of storage and I didn't realise the angle was not even good. You couldn't even see what I was packing really. You, you saw my head. So about that. I have switched over to my iPad to continue filming. I don't know what way I got up to but basically my two packing cubes are packed and I just have like my underwear and stuff, just bits and bobs. I still have more clothes to pick out because if I have any more space by the end of all this um, which I'm sure I will but in the meantime I have these cute shock slippers and I think I could fit my underwear in these they don't think I've ever really worn them before so they're nice and clean and it helps kind of retain the shape of the slipper so when I come to wear them that's what I'll be doing to maximise my slipper space. So I've got old pants that I can wear and then throw away whilst I'm on the holiday there. And then I also have some new pants um, to, you know, obviously after I've thrown them. Those ones I'm gonna wash and wear and dry. This is basically what I'm doing right now. Just rolling them up, stuffing in. Where the <laughs> shark's mouth is. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I can maybe put some stuff in there. This bit. Let's see, what can I put in there? Little pants. Blue pants. And also, maybe I'll just stuff this whole bag with all my underwear and pants, basically. That's what I'll do. These I got last year in Japan at any. I was about to say Unicorn, but it's not Unicorn, it's GU. I think this is the best way to go because I keep rolling up my pants and putting them in this bag. <laughs> Also that curvy shape. And at this point I'm just stuffing it anything I can here. Just to maximize the space again. Okay, so I've packed a lot of my underwear with my slippers. I will put this in my big suitcase. Okay, I've packed a lot of the stuff 
that I've thrown on my bed. I'm gonna take a break from packing and continue this sometime during the week. Um, because you know it's getting kind of late and I wanna take a break from packing. So let me just show you what I what the situation is right now. Currently I have my winter jacket, one packing cube and this packing this bag in my large checked in uh, luggage. And then I've got one packing cube in my hand luggage along with like like two pairs of pants and some like fully swinging tights. And then I have my winter boots stuff with socks. <laughs> and that's the situation so far. Also not to forget I have my jacket here that I may wear to the airport. And then oh yeah, I also have this and put away. And then this is gonna I'm gonna wear this as my airport fit. So yeah. That is pretty much my bed is cleared. Okay, I am back to continuing packing. Yesterday I went out and bought some Scottish snacks and drinks, which I'll be bringing over for my friends, my boyfriend and the, his family. So I'm gonna give you a little haul. I have got the classic short bread can't go wrong with Scottish shop shortbread. I have lots of mini bottles of Iron Brew, Scotland's national treasure. And I also have um, squashies. These are like sweets. So I don't know. Apparently my friends like them. So I don't know what, I don't know if it's really unique to Scotland, but it's a smaller British thing, I think. Is it even? I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna pack that into my suitcase. As well as stuff that I missed out last time, which was like towels, more um, winter clothes. Yeah, and they packed more winter clothes and then I expanded my list of things to pack. So I'm going to go through that and get everything sorted. One day before I fly, I've just finished packing. My mom just went to put one of the, my big suitcase downstairs. Yes, yeah, so I was overweight and I had to kind of put things out and put things in. So yeah, what a struggle. So many things to bring. I'll go to the airport the next morning. Alright guys, my parents are back from the holiday, which means I have a suitcase to put my stuff in. It's the one I'm currently using has a broken wheel. Obviously, I can't travel with that. So this is still the broken wheel and I'm going to transfer everything into this suitcase and also my new hand carry. Look at how cute this colour is. It's a nice pink, light pink, coral, coral pink. Honestly, I'm not sure how packing's going to go. At first, I was feeling quite confident that you know I can fit everything and it won't be too stressful. But now that I'm like, I keep thinking about like what else I need to bring. I'm like, oh, will I have enough space and wait for it? So I guess we will see.
my god, please tell me after why after two hours of packing you saw the time lapse, I was taking stuff out from that suitcase, right? And putting stuff into the my new carry on. I was supposed to put stuff from here into here. But no, I repacked it in there. <sighs> Packing is not a man. I've gone insane. I literally took stuff out so that I can put stuff in my hand carry and then ended up packing the broken suitcase. Oh my goodness. I was wondering, I was like, oh, this one has the one with the strawberry tag, which is the working suitcase. I was like, something is not right. And indeed, it was not right. So I gotta repack it again into the actual working suitcase. Oh dear lord. Final night in my bed and I'll be heading to the airport in a few hours so I should go to sleep real quick so I can get some get a little bit of sleep and a little nap okay guys see you whenever